Amen, family. We have the honor of closing us out here. My name is Bishop, and with me is the fireball from Phoenix, Jasmine. And we have the honor of preaching about, as was his custom, or meetings. And I don't know if you noticed, we're actually at a meeting right now. Bible Talk Leaders meeting, right? But why are you actually here? Think about that. You spent a little extra money, stay one extra night, doing a little bit more, maybe you have to take a day off work. Ask yourself, why did you actually come here? I want to read a scripture to make sure our hearts are right on this, amen? In Psalms 9, it says, I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing the praises of your name, O Most High. See, I was brainstorming. I was like, what's the purpose of every meeting that we do? It's for God. It's to worship the Lord. Even this Bible Talk Leaders meeting, why'd you come? It's to worship the Lord. I hope you're not just here because someone asked you to, amen? And honestly, as leaders, this is one of the hardest things to get right. Oftentimes, we're so absorbed with the logistics of it. Oh man, how am I going to look up there? What am I going to say up there? Is everyone going to show up on time? And don't catch what I'm not saying. Be excellent in what you do, but be focused on the right thing. It's about God at the end of the day. Are you with me, family? See, if you want to meet the maker, make the meetings about the maker, amen? So often, again, we're thinking about, well, how am I going to sound up there? I got this Bible talk lesson. Else is it going to sound good? Forget that. Think about honoring God. What are you focused on? If it's not about God, you're not gaining anything. If you're not focused on God, why would anyone else be? And second after that, it's about the people. Turn to Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25. Very familiar scripture for us. It reads, not giving up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. Now here when it says encouraging, it translates to the Greek and means parakaleo, which means carry alongside. And that's why, again, it's so critical you're focused on God. Because as a leader, you're helping other people in their walks with God as well. See, meetings are what mold the church, whatever it may be. This is a meeting. Bible talk is a meeting. Fellowshipping with disciples is a meeting. So make them count for something. See, I still remember the very f the Sunday service I went to where I decided to become a disciple, where I made that decision. I was doubting, I was struggling, I'd counted the cost once, like, I don't know if I could do this. And I remember the sermon that was preached. And the guy's actually in this room right now that preached it. Can you guess who? Stacy. Stacy. <laughs> Amen. It was Stacy, of course. But I remember he challenged me, challenged my heart so much. That service was so memorable. And at the very end, he said, if there's anything holding you back from being a disciple, then get open about it right now. Don't let your heart keep you away from heaven. Wow. And I remember that. I was like, oh, my God, I got to I gotta go get open to the evangelist. And then that Sunday, I was baptized. So, amen, as leaders, what are we doing in our meetings? How is the worship? The worship was fantastic today. Oh, my God. I was like, Arizona is great at this. And well, how's the fellowship doing? Are you actively reaching out to people there? And again, how is the preaching? I just want to say a little note about Bible talk. If you're a young up-and-coming Bible talk leader, don't you dare reuse the same lesson over and over and over. <laughs> this, you guys realize it's mostly disciples at Bible talk, right? You want to bore them to death? Write some new lessons, amen? And I give you Jasmine. Wow, I love what Bishop said, just making everything intentional about God. And the first person that I think of that is very intentional is Jesus. So Jesus worked with 12 imperfect people, right? They ate together, they prayed together, they served together. They always met together for his, they always met together for his perfect purpose. Amen. Mm -hmm. Come on. He wasn't always with them. I'm sure he wasn't actually always with them, but he was intentional every time he was with them and intentional with his time. Mm -hmm. And not only that, he was attentive to the conversations and the needs of the church. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy because I actually was talking to a sister two days, a day before this, and I was talking to her and I said, oh, I'll see you tomorrow. And she said, oh, I'm not gonna be there. I'm gonna be somewhere else. And I said, why? And she said, I'm not a leader. And I said, you know what? You are a disciple of Christ. You are a leader, okay? Now, leaders, 
Do you know how your people are doing? Do you engage with them? Do you, and are you help, do you help them meet, do you help them, <laughs> do you engage with them and help them at your meetings? You know, I love the Greater San Diego International Christian Church, amen. Recently, we just did a vision board night, and man, I have a lot of vision, right? And so I was so attentive to everybody that I wanted to listen to their vision. I was talking to the brothers. I was talking to the sisters, and my heart was overwhelmed. Like, I got to know my brothers and sisters even more. And I just want to tell you guys, be intentional in your meetings. Some practicals for you guys. Make meetings often. Don't just go to meetings. Be intentional with them. Not just Sunday service, not just Wednesdays, not just Thursdays, but every single day. Be intentional with your meetings. Make meetings fun. Don't just, just like Bishop said, don't be boring and keep saying the same thing over and over. Make it fun. Make it extravagant. But lastly, be it, like I said, be intentional with your people. Give vision to your people. Love God and obey God. I'll give it Amen. up to my co-leader, Bishop. Thank you so much for sharing. And just to close out, let's make our meetings about the maker. And to God be all the glory. Yeah.